And great pleasure to have joining us today on the uh, Book Talk segment of the show, uh, Dr. Michael Turman. He's written uh, a book, very interesting book, very apropos since uh, as we talk today. It will be uh, changing the clock back uh, this weekend. It's called Chronotherapy, Resetting Your Inner Clock to Boost Mood, Alertness, and Quality Sleep. We're joined by uh, Dr. Michael Turman. Uh, Turman. And uh, Doctor, thanks for being with us. How are you today? Glad to be here. Good. I, now, I understand you're up in uh, New York, right? How, how are things up there today as we talk with the storm? Well, the fact of the matter is I spent two nights without electricity, but then I got across the river, and it's okay now. Well, that's my hometown, former hometown as well, so uh, we're all concerned down here in Florida for, for New York and that area. But uh, knowing New Yorkers as I do, being one myself, a very uh, resilient uh, bunch. Yeah, and we love you guys in Florida. <laughs> And envy you. Well, yeah, we're usually the ones that get the hurricane, so very unusual that uh, you get one up there. But uh, but it'll, it'll 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 get better. But a uh, little little tough times for a while. But uh, I want to get a chance to I had a chance to read through the book. Very interesting topic. Uh, I never heard the term before, chronotherapy. I've heard of light therapy and and, and dealing with the sleep issues like that. But uh, interesting uh, interesting field, chronotherapy. How did you get in, involved with that? Yeah, well, you know, we're trying to put a new word into the English language. Uh, I've been working my whole career on biological clocks. And, uh, you know, the interesting discovery is we're, we're, we're born with neurological clockwork in our brains. Uh, and the, the uh, fascinating uh, observation is that they don't run on 24 hours. They run slightly longer than 24 hours. And it, from person to person, it all depends on genetics. So some of us run at 24 hours and five minutes, for example, and others run at 25 hours. And that puts a, a physiological strain on our system because it's that inner clock that determines uh, when we're ready to go to sleep, um, when we're ready to wake up, when we're going to be most alert during the day, when our mood is going to be best. And we need to keep that deviating clock into, uh, in sync with uh, the clock outdoors, the clock on the wall and the solar cycle. Otherwise, things go awry. Yeah, I've always thought that, uh, even you know, myself, that uh, you, know, you may go to bed a certain time every day during the work week, but maybe toward the end of the week, you're, you know, you're not feeling you're ready for bed then because your clock isn't quite the same. Uh, uh, do we know why that is? Because, you know, the world is a 24-hour cycle. Uh, does that have anything to do with it? Well, you're making a very good point uh, because during the work week, uh, and many of us are uh, impelled to go to sleep at a certain hour in order to be ready for the work day. But that is not where our inner clock is sitting. And that creates stresses. Um, in extreme cases, that can create depression, even clinical depression. So it, it's very important, and that's what chronotherapy is all about. It's very important to get the inner clock in sync with a clock in the wall. Otherwise, we're vulnerable to disruptions. Right now, we're coming into the, uh, or in the fall season, but more the winter season, and, and you do talk in the book about it, and we've always heard a lot of people do get, tend to get uh, down or depressed during the fall and winter seasons. Is it strictly uh, because there's less, I mean, obviously, there can be life factors, too, but, I mean, is there less light? Is that what causes a lot of it? Uh, the key is a sunrise. And uh, this is true also down in Florida, but it's increasingly true as we get up north. If the sun is rising significantly later as we head into the winter months, and because our inner clocks are running longer than 24 hours, our inner clocks shift even later than they were because they are looking for sunrise. And uh, if our inner clocks shift too late, but our work schedule and sleep schedule is staying the same, we're building in that conflict. And that conflict is uh, what winter depression is all about for the population as a whole, because everybody is experiencing the later sunrise. 
I never liked uh, being up north when we did the clock changing back. It used to get, uh, or still does, I imagine, get dark around 4, 4.30. Uh, and that would bring you down a little bit. Not depression, but, you know, you feel a little bit down about it. You want you want more sunlight, so that, that does well, you, know, you, you know, I would actually challenge you on that. I, I think that the important thing is to have more sunlight early in the day, and that what's happening in the evening truly is quite secondary. Uh, and, uh, you know, for that reason, I would strongly advocate keeping standard time all year round because under standard time, the sun is rising an hour earlier and it's closer to our uh, workday schedule. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they did that during the war originally or maybe the farm areas to have more daylight for, for farming. But, uh, but yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you there in the winter time. So well, where did we all come from 500, 600 years ago? We were farmers, and uh, we're missing that in the urban environment, and that's causing uh, problems in contemporary life. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, in the book, you go through uh, therapy for people that uh, are going through uh, that type of situation, light therapy, light boxes you can use. Can you can explain that briefly? I know we have limited time today, but I thought that was fascinating. Well, you know, basically what we're doing is making the sun come up earlier. Uh, when the, In the middle of the summer, our inner clock adjusts earlier automatically. But if, if we're living in an indoor environment, if, if we are in an elder care home where we're not getting outside, for example, um, uh, we're not seeing the light of day. And all of that is predisposing our inner clock to slip away from outdoor time. So what light therapy does is uh, uh, bring a true daylight level into your room in the early morning. And it, at some times of year, it may still be dark outside when you're doing it. That keeps the inner clock in check and it counteracts the fatigue and the depression that many people would otherwise feel. It's fascinating that uh, something as simple as that can help uh, a lot of these uh, situations with uh, you know, depression or just mood, uh, you know, being down in mood or alertness, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, your word simplification is right on target because we're getting to the core of the issue, whereas sleeping pills and antidepressants are not directly affecting the inner clock. Therefore, they are... Uh, obfuscating, they may, they're obfuscating because the, the true healthy condition is to get your inner clock in synchrony with uh, day and night outdoors. Doctor, obviously, you know, we want folks to, to, to read through the book, but uh, if they wanted to have chronotherapy, do many physicians or practitioners uh, practice this? And <laughs> where can people go for that? I love that question because a major reason that I wrote the book was uh, to get people who are concerned for themselves to talk to their doctors about this, even to ask their doctors to read the book, because then we can bring chronotherapy into mainline medical practice. So it, this is an initiative that really has to come from uh, the patient. And the doctors have to be stimulated to look for this naturalistic alternative as opposed to a uh, rush prescription of drugs that aren't getting at the cause. Yeah, yeah there's no, uh, no, no bad side effects, I would imagine, with uh, too much light. <laughs> oh, oh, I wouldn't say so. There well, I compared to drugs I'm talking about. No, but it can be dosed. Uh, it has to be dosed for the individual. Some people will be will respond to uh, uh, far lower levels of light than other people need, right. and uh, so there's an adjustment issue there, and that's why we do need to bring the doctors into the system. The name of the book is Chronotherapy. We've been talking with Dr. Michael Terman today. Michael, give out a, a website or where people can get a hold of the book. Yeah, I would encourage people to go to the nonprofit website that I supervise, and that's for the Center for Environmental Therapeutics, CET.org. And the book was just out last week, so it's already all over the place, easy to find. Great. Doctor, appreciate you taking a few minutes, and uh, 
So keep uh, keep the uh, good positive thoughts up in New York. So we're all thinking about them from down here in Florida. Thanks for joining us. Today. Uh, we're grateful for that. Thank you.